Hungarian is a Finno-Ugric language spoken in Hungary and several neighboring countries. It is the official language of Hungary and one of the 24 official languages of the European Union. Outside Hungary it is also spoken by communities of Hungarians in the countries that today make up Slovakia, Western Ukraine Subcarpathia, Central and Western Romania Transylvania, Northern Serbia Vojvodina, Northern Croatia, and Northern Slovenia region. It is also spoken by Hungarian diaspora communities worldwide, especially in North America, particularly the United States and Canada, and in Israel. Like Finnish and Estonian, Hungarian belongs to the Uralic language family. Topic: <laughs> Classification. Hungarian is a member of the Uralic language family. Linguistic connections between Hungarian and other Uralic languages were noticed in the 1670s, and the family itself then called Finno-Ugric was established in 1717, but the classification of Hungarian as a Uralic, Finno-Ugric rather than Turkic language continued to be a matter of impassioned political controversy throughout the 18th and into the 19th centuries. Hungarian has traditionally been assigned to an Ugric branch within Uralic, Finno-Ugric, along with the Mansi and Kanti languages of Western Siberia Kanti -Mansha region, but it is no longer clear that it is a valid group. When the Samoyed languages were determined to be part of the family, it was thought at first that Finnic and Ugric Finno -Ugric were closer to each other than to the Samoyed branch of the family, but that now is frequently questioned. The name of Hungary could be a result of regular sound changes of Ungrian, Ugrian, and the fact that the Eastern Slavs referred to Hungarians as Ogri, Ogrov SG, Ogrinu seemed to confirm that. Current literature favors the hypothesis that it comes from the name of the Turkic tribe Onogor, which means ten arrows or ten tribes. There are numerous regular sound correspondences between Hungarian and the other Ugric languages. For example, Hungarian, a, corresponds to kanti, o, in certain positions, and Hungarian, h, corresponds to kanti, x, while Hungarian final, z, corresponds to kanti final, t. For example, Hungarian has ha z, house, versus kanti xot, xot, house. And Hungarian shaz sa z hundred versus kanti sat sat hundred. The distance between the Ugric and Finnic languages is greater, but the correspondences are also regular. Topic: <laughs> Early classification. During the latter half of the 19th century, a competing hypothesis proposed a Turkic affinity of Hungarian. Following an academic debate known as as Ugor Torik Haboru, the Ugric Turkic battle, the Finno Ugric hypothesis was concluded the sounder of the two, foremost based on work by the German linguist Joseph Budenz. History Prehistory Scholarly consensus The traditional view holds that the Hungarian language diverged from its Ugric relatives in the first half of the first millennium B, C, in western Siberia east of the southern Urals. The Hungarians gradually changed their lifestyle from being settled hunters to being nomadic pastoralists, probably as a result of early contacts with Iranian nomads Scythians and Sarmatians. In Hungarian, Iranian loanwords date back to the time immediately following the breakup of Ugric and probably span well over a millennium. Among these include Tian cow cf. Avestan Danu, Tiz ten cf. Avestan Dasa, Tej milk cf. Persian Dahe wet nurse, and Nad reed from late Middle Iranian, cf. Middle Persian Ne. Archaeological evidence from present-day southern Bashkortostan confirms the existence of Hungarian settlements between the Volga River and Ural Mountains. The Onogers and Bulgars later had a great influence on the language, especially between the 5th and 9th centuries. This layer of Turkic loans is large and varied, e.g., Zo word, from Turkic, Daru crane, from the related Permic languages, and includes words borrowed from Ogre Turkic, e.g., Boryu calf, cf. Chuvash Peru, Perav versus Turkish Bazagi, Dale, Noon, South, cf. Chuvash Tel versus Turkish Dial. Deuce. Many words related to agriculture, state administration and even family relationships show evidence of such backgrounds. Hungarian syntax and grammar were not influenced in a similarly dramatic way over these three centuries. 
After the arrival of the Hungarians in the Carpathian Basin, the language came into contact with a variety of speech communities, among them Slavic, Turkic, and German. Turkic loans from this period come mainly from the Pechenegs and Cumanians, who settled in Hungary during the 12th and 13th centuries, e.g., Kobos Kabza cf. Turkish Kopus Lut, Komandor Mop Dog Topic Alternative views A number of researchers dispute the scholarly consensus. Hungarian historian and archaeologist Gyula Laszlo claims that geological data from pollen analysis seems to contradict the placing of the ancient Hungarian homeland near the Urals. Geneticist Endra Neporochki argues that the Hungarian conquerors of the late 9th century were in fact Hunnic tribes. Given the fact that the Magyars are traditionally believed to have brought the Hungarian language into the Carpathian Basin, Neporochki's hypothesis would seem to imply that the Huns must have spoken Hungarian. The chief difficulty with this proposition is that paleogenetic research on its own can neither prove nor disprove the origins of languages. Nander Dreisiger holds that the Hungarian language may have been spoken by the late Avars and that Arpad's Magyars were a Turkic speaking elite who ruled over a Finno Ugric, proto Hungarian speaking population during the migrations. Topic controversy over origins Today the consensus among linguists is that Hungarian is a member of the Uralic family of languages. For many years, however, it was a matter of dispute whether Hungarian was a Finno-Ugric, Uralic language or more closely related to the Turkic languages a controversy known as the Ugric-Turkish War, or whether indeed both the Uralic and the Turkic families formed part of a superfamily of Ural-Altaic languages. Hungarians did in fact absorb some Turkic influences during several centuries of cohabitation. For example, the Hungarians appear to have learned animal husbandry techniques from the Turkic Chuvash people, as a high proportion of words specific to agriculture and livestock are of Chuvash origin. A strong Chuvash influence was also apparent in Hungarian burial customs. Furthermore, all Ugric languages, not only Hungarian, feature Turkic loanwords related to horse riding. There have been attempts, dismissed by mainstream linguists as pseudoscientific comparisons, to show that Hungarian is related to other languages, such as Hebrew, Hunnic, Sumerian, Egyptian, Etruscan, Basque, Persian, Pelasgian, Greek, Chinese, Sanskrit, English, Tibetan, Magyar, Quechua, Armenian, Japanese, and at least 40 other languages. Topic Old Hungarian The first written accounts of Hungarian, mostly personal name and place names, date to the 10th century. No significant texts written in Old Hungarian script have survived, as wood, the medium of writing in use at the time, was perishable. The Kingdom of Hungary was founded in 1000 by Stephen I. The country became a Western-styled Christian Roman Catholic state, with Latin script replacing Hungarian runes. The earliest remaining fragments of the language are found in the establishing charter of the Abbey of Tihani from 1055, intermingled with Latin text. The first extant text fully written in Hungarian is the Funeral Sermon and Prayer, which dates to the 1190s. Although the orthography of these early texts differed considerably from that used today, contemporary Hungarians can still understand a great deal of the reconstructed spoken language. Despite changes in grammar and vocabulary, a more extensive body of Hungarian literature arose after 1300. The earliest known example of Hungarian religious poetry is the 14th century Lamentations of Mary. The first Bible translation was the Hussite Bible in the 1430s, the standard language lost its diphthongs, and several postpositions transformed into suffixes, including re, onta, the phrase utu re, onto the way, found in the 1055 text would later become utra. There were also changes in the system of vowel harmony. At one time, Hungarian used six verb tenses. Today, only two are commonly used present and past. The future is formed with an auxiliary verb and is usually not counted as a separate tense. Topic: <inaudible> Modern Hungarian. In 1533, Krakow printer Benedek Komjati published the first Hungarian language book set in movable type, a translation of the letters of Saint Paul entitled As Zenth Paul Luli Magyar Nyeljuan Modern Orthography. As Saint Paul Levele Magyar Nyevan. By the 17th century, the language already closely resembled its present day form, although two of the past tenses remained in use. German, Italian, and French loans also began to appear. Further Turkish words were borrowed during the period of Ottoman rule 1541 In the 18th century a group of writers, most notably Ferenc Kaczynski, spearheaded a process of Nyelvuhita's language revitalization. 
Some words were shortened Giozidelum greater than Giozidelum, triumph or victory. A number of dialectal words spread nationally, e.g., see selling, dotal. Extinct words were reintroduced, dish, decor. A wide range of expressions were coined using the various derivative suffixes, and some other, less frequently used methods of expanding the language were utilized. This movement produced more than 10,000 words, most of which are used actively today. The 19th and 20th centuries saw further standardization of the language, and differences between mutually comprehensible dialects gradually diminished. In 1920, Hungary signed the Treaty of Trianon, losing 71% of its territory and one third of the ethnic Hungarian population along with it. Today, the language holds official status nationally in Hungary and regionally in Romania, Slovakia, Serbia, Austria, and Slovenia. Topic. Geographic distribution Source, National Censuses, Ethnologue Hungarian has about 13 million native speakers, of whom more than 9.8 million live in Hungary. According to the 2011 Hungarian census 9,896,333 people 99.6% of the total population speak Hungarian, of whom 9,827,875 people 98.9% .9 speak it as a first language, while 68,458 people 0.7% speak it as a second language. About 2.2 million speakers live in areas that were part of the Kingdom of Hungary before the Treaty of Trianon 1920. Of these, the largest group lives in Transylvania, the western half of present-day Romania, where there are approximately 1.25 million Hungarians. There are large Hungarian communities also in Slovakia, Serbia and Ukraine, and Hungarians can also be found in Austria, Croatia, and Slovenia, as well as about a million additional people scattered in other parts of the world. For example, there are more than 100,000 Hungarian speakers in the Hungarian-American community and 1.5 million with Hungarian ancestry in the United States. Topic. Official status Hungarian is the official language of Hungary, and thus an official language of the European Union. Hungarian is also one of the official languages of Vojvodina and an official language of three municipalities in Slovenia, Hodos, Dobrovnik and Lendava, along with Slovene. Hungarian is officially recognized as a minority or regional language in Austria, Croatia, Romania, Zakarpatia in Ukraine, and Slovakia. In Romania it is a recognized minority language used at local level in communes, towns and municipalities with an ethnic Hungarian population of over 20%. Topic. Dialects The dialects of Hungarian identified by ethnologue are, Alfold, West Danube, Danube Tissa, Kings Pass Hungarian, Northeast Hungarian, Northwest Hungarian, CK and West Hungarian. These dialects are, for the most part, mutually intelligible. The Hungarian Chongo dialect, which is mentioned but not listed separately by ethnologue, is spoken primarily in Bacau County in eastern Romania. The Chongo Hungarian group has been largely isolated from other Hungarian people, and they therefore preserved features that closely resemble earlier forms of Hungarian. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Phonology. Hungarian has 14 vowel phonemes and 25 consonant phonemes. The vowel phonemes can be grouped as pairs of short and long vowels such as o and o. Most of the pairs have a similar pronunciation and vary significantly only in their duration. However, pairs A, A and E, A differ both in closedness and length. Consonant length is also distinctive in Hungarian. Most consonant phonemes can occur as geminates. The sound voiced palatal plosive, written gy, sounds similar to d in British English duty. In fact, it is more similar to the Macedonian phoneme g as in deacon from diakon. It occurs in the name of the country, Magaya Erzig, Hungary, pronounced Marasa. A single R is pronounced as an alveolar tap akora of that size, but a double R is pronounced as an alveolar trill akora by that time, like in Spanish. Topic. Prosody Primary stress is always on the first syllable of a word, as in Finnish and the neighboring Slovak and Czech. There is a secondary stress on other syllables in compounds, visantlatazra, goodbye, is pronounced, visantlatar. 
Elongated vowels in non-initial syllables may seem to be stressed to an English speaker, as length and stress correlate in English. Grammar Hungarian, an agglutinative language, uses various affixes, mainly suffixes but also some prefixes and a circumfix, to change a word's meaning and its grammatical function. Vowel harmony Hungarian uses vowel harmony to attach suffixes to words. That means that most suffixes have two or three different forms, and the choice between them depends on the vowels of the headword. There are some minor and unpredictable exceptions to the rule. Nouns Nouns have a large number of cases between 18 and 35, depending on the definition, but they are generally formed regularly with suffixes. The nominative case is unmarked as alma the apple and, for example, the accusative is marked with the suffix t as almat I eat the apple. Half of the 18 cases express a combination of the source location target and surface inside proximity ternary distinctions. Three times three cases, there is a separate case ending bol, bol meaning a combination of source and insideness, from inside of. Possession is expressed by a possessive suffix on the possessed object, rather than the possessor as in English. Peter's apple becomes Peter Almaha, literally Peter Apple his. Noun plurals are formed with k as almac the apples, but after a numeral, the singular is used kate alma two apples, literally two apple, not asterisk kate almac. Unlike English, Hungarian uses case suffixes and mostly postpositions, instead of prepositions. There are two types of articles in Hungarian, definite and indefinite, which roughly correspond to the equivalents in English. Topic. Adjectives. Adjectives precede nouns a pyros alma the red apple and have three degrees, positive pyros red, comparative pyrosab redder and superlative a leg pyrosab the reddest. If the noun takes the plural or a case, an attributive adjective is invariable, a pyros almac the red apples. However, a predicative adjective agrees with the noun, as almac pyrosic the apples are red. Adjectives by themselves can behave as nouns and so can take case suffixes, meliak almac curd, a perosat. Which apple would you like? The red one. Topic. Verbs Verbs are conjugated according to two tenses past and present, three moods indicative, conditional and imperative subjunctive, two numbers singular or plural, three persons first, second and third and definiteness. The last feature is most characteristic. The definite conjugation is used with a transitive verb whose direct object is definite. Peter ezi as almat. Peter eats the apple. But the indefinite conjugation either for a verb with an indefinite direct object. Peter ezik e almat. Peter eats an apple. Or for a verb without an object. Peter ezik. Peter eats. Since conjugation expresses the person and number, personal pronouns are usually omitted except for emphasis. The present tense is unmarked, and the past is formed by using the suffix t or tt, hall, hears, hallet, heard, past. Future may be expressed with the present tense, usually with a word defining the time of the event, holnap, tomorrow, or by using the auxiliary verb fog, similar to the English will, followed by the infinitive. The indicative mood and the conditional mood are used both in the present and the past tenses. The conditional past is expressed by using the conjugated past form and the auxiliary word volna, halit volna would have heard. The imperative mood is used only in the present tense. Verbs have verbal prefixes, which are also known as coverbs. Most of them define direction of movement, lemaji, goes down, felmaji, goes up. Some verbal prefixes give an aspect to the verb, such as the prefix meg, which generally marks telicity. Vowel harmony also plays a major role in verb conjugations. All Hungarian verb conjugations as well as postpositions and possessive suffixes, for that matter, can be thought of as templates into which vowels are inserted. Based on the nature of a verb's infinitive, which always ends in ni, one can create a generic template, which has mostly consonants. The vowels are then inserted into the template according to the rules of vowel harmony, based on the categorization of the vowel in the verb root front, back, rounded, unrounded. Topic. 
Word order The neutral word order is subject verb object. SVO. However, Hungarian, a topic prominent language, has a word order that depends not only on syntax but also on the topic comment structure of the sentence, for example, what aspect is assumed to be known and what is emphasized. A Hungarian sentence generally has the following order topic, comment, or focus, verb, and the rest. The topic shows that the proposition is only for that particular thing or aspect, and it implies that the proposition is not true for some others. For example, in As Almat Janos Latya, it is John who sees the apple. Literally, the apple John sees, the apple is in the topic, implying that other objects may be seen by not him but other people the pair may be seen by Peter. The topic part may be empty. The focus shows the new information for the listeners that may not have been known or that their knowledge must be corrected. For example, N voyak as apad. I am your father. Literally, it is I who am your father. From the movie The Empire Strikes Back, the pronoun I N is in the focus and implies that it is new information, and the listener thought that someone else is his father. Although Hungarian is sometimes described as having free word order, different word orders are generally not interchangeable, and the neutral order is not always correct to use. Also, the intonation is also different with different topic comment structures. The topic usually has a rising intonation, the focus having a falling intonation. In the following examples, the topic is marked with italics, and the focus comment is marked with boldface. Janos Latya as Almat. John sees the apple. Neutral sentence. Janos Latya as Almat. John sees the apple, Peter may not see the apple. Janos Latya as Almat. It is John who sees the apple, the listener may have thought that it is Peter. Janos as Almat Latya. What John sees is the apple, it is the apple, not the pear, that John specifically sees. However, Peter may see the pear. As Almat Latya Janos, it is the apple that is seen by John, the pear may not be seen by John, but it may be smelled, for example, As Almat Janos Latya. It is by John that the apple is seen, it is not seen by Peter, but the pear may be seen by Peter, for example. Topic. Politeness Hungarian has a four-tiered system for expressing levels of politeness. From highest to lowest, on onoses, use of this form in speech shows respect towards the person addressed, but it is also the common way of speaking in official texts and business communications. Here, you, the second person, is grammatically addressed in the third person. Maga magazes, magazodas, use of this form serves to show that the speakers wish to distance themselves from the person they address. A boss could also address a subordinate as maga. Aside from the different pronoun it is grammatically the same as onoses. Nei, bachi, tetzikses, this is a somewhat affectionate way of expressing politeness and is grammatically the same as onoses or magazodas, but adds a certain verb in auxiliary role, tetzik, like, to support the main verb of the sentence. For example, children are supposed to address adults who are not parent, close friends or close relatives by using Tetzik. You like. Hogi Vaji. How are you? Here becomes. Hogi Tetzik Leni. How do you like to be? The elderly, especially women, are generally addressed this way, even by adults. Te tegazes, tegazades or pertu, pertu from Latin, used generally, i.e. with persons with whom none of the above forms of politeness is required, and, in religious contexts, to address God. The highest rank, the king, was traditionally addressed per tu by all, peasants and noblemen alike, though with Hungary not having had any crowned king since 1918, this practice survives only in folk tales and children's stories. Use of tegazes in the media and advertisements has become more frequent since the early 1990s. It is informal and is normally used in families, among friends, colleagues, among young people, and adults speaking to children. It can be compared to addressing somebody by their first name in English. Perhaps prompted by the widespread use of English, a language without TV distinction in most contemporary dialects, on the Internet. Tegazes is also becoming the standard way to address people over the Internet, regardless of politeness. The four tiered system has somewhat been eroded due to the recent expansion of Tegazades.
Some anomalies emerged with the arrival of multinational companies who have addressed their customers in the Tay least polite form right from the beginning of their presence in Hungary. A typical example is the Swedish furniture shop IKEA, whose website and other publications address the customers in Tay form. When a news site asked IKEA, using the Tay form, why they address their customers this way, IKEA's PR manager explained in his answer, using the on form, that their way of communication reflects IKEA's open-mindedness and the Swedish culture. However IKEA in France use the most polite vu form. Another example is the communication of Telenor a mobile network operator towards its customers. Telenor chose to communicate towards business customers in the polite on form while all other customers are addressed in the less polite te form. Topic vocabulary Giving an accurate estimate for the total word count is difficult, since it is hard to define what to call a word in agglutinating languages, due to the existence of affixed words and compound words. To have a meaningful definition of compound words, we have to exclude such compounds whose meaning is the mere sum of its elements. The largest dictionaries from Hungarian to another language contain 120,000 words and phrases but this may include redundant phrases as well, because of translation issues. The new desk lexicon of the Hungarian language contains 75,000 words and the Comprehensive Dictionary of Hungarian Language to be published in 18 volumes in the next 20 years will contain 110,000 words. The default Hungarian lexicon is usually estimated to comprise 60,000 to 100,000 words, independently of specific languages. Speakers actively use at most 10,000 to 20,000 words, with an average intellectual using 25 to 30,000 words. However, all the Hungarian lexemes collected from technical texts, dialects, etc., would all together add up to 1 million words. Parts of the lexicon can be organized using word bushes. See an example on the right. The words in these bushes share a common root. Are related through inflection, derivation and compounding, and are usually broadly related in meaning. The basic vocabulary shares some hundreds word roots with other Uralic languages like Finnish, Estonian, Mansi and Kanti. Examples of such include the verb ale live Finnish ella, the numbers keto 2, harem 3, negi 4 cf. Mansi Kidig Kaidig, Hurum Kurum, Nila Nila, Finnish Kaksi, Kolm, Nelja, Estonian Kaks, Kom, Neli, as well as Viz, Water, Case, Hand, Ver, Blood, Fej, Head, Cf. Finnish and Estonian Vesi, Kasi, Veri, Finnish Pa, Estonian P or Pa. Words for elementary kinship and nature are more Ugric, less R Turkic, and less Slavic. Agricultural words are about 50% R Turkic and 50% Slavic. Pastoral terms are more R Turkic, less Ugric, and less Slavic. Finally, Christian and state terminology is more Slavic and less R Turkic. The Slavic is most probably Proto Slovakian and or Slovenian. This is easily understood in the Uralic paradigm. Proto Magyars were first similar to Ob Ugars, who were mainly hunters, fishers, and gatherers, but with some horses, too. Then they accultured to Bulgarian R. Turks, so the older layer of agriculture words wine, beer, wheat, barley and sea, are purely R. Turkic, and also lots of termini of statesmanship and religion were, too. Except for a few Latin and Greek loan words, these differences are unnoticed even by native speakers, the words have been entirely adopted into the Hungarian lexicon. There are an increasing number of English loan words, especially in technical fields. Another source differs in that loanwords in Hungarian are held to constitute about 45% of bases in the language. Although the lexical percentage of native words in Hungarian is 55%, their use accounts for 88.4% of all words used the percentage of loanwords used being just 11.6%. Therefore, the history of Hungarian has come, especially since the 19th century, to favor neologisms from original bases, whilst still having developed as many terms from neighboring languages in the lexicon. Topic word formation Words can be compounds or derived. Most derivation is with suffixes, but there is a small set of derivational prefixes as well. Topic compounds Compounds have been present in the language since the Proto-Uralic era. Numerous ancient compounds transformed to base words during the centuries. Today, compounds play an important role in vocabulary. A good example is the word arc or nose plus shy mouth orca face colloquial until the end of the 19th century and still in use in some dialects greater than arc face compounds are made up of two base words, the first is the prefix, the latter is the suffix. A compound can be subordinative, the prefix is in logical connection with the suffix. 
If the prefix is the subject of the suffix, the compound is generally classified as a subjective one. There are objective, determinative, and adjunctive compounds as well. Some examples are given below. Subjective Many heaven plus dorig rumble many dorog thundering nap sun plus pseudo lit by nipsito sunlit objective fa tree wood plus vago cutter favago lumberjack literally woodcutter determinative huge new plus ya modification of va via suffix meaning making it to something plus epites construction epites reconstruction literally making something to be new by construction adjunctive Sarga yellow plus res copper sargeres brass according to current orthographic rules a subordinative compound word has to be written as a single word without spaces however if the length of a compound of 3 or more words not counting one syllable verbal prefixes is 7 or more syllables long not counting case suffixes a hyphen must be inserted at the appropriate boundary to ease the determination of word boundaries for the reader other compound words are coordinatives, there is no concrete relation between the prefix and the suffix. Subcategories include word duplications to emphasize the meaning, oliker oliker. Really occasionally, twin words where a base word and a distorted form of it makes up a compound, gizgiz, where the suffix gaz means weed and the prefix giz is the distorted form, the compound itself means inconsiderable weed, and such compounds which have meanings, but neither their prefixes, nor their suffixes make sense for example, hersherka complex, obsolete procedures. A compound also can be made up by multiple i.e., more than two base words, in this case, at least one word element, or even both the prefix and the suffix as a compound. Some examples Elmi mind, standalone base plus gyogi medical plus intezit institute elmegyogiintezit asylum Hadi militarian plus fogoli prisoner plus munka work plus tabor camp hadifogoli munkatabor work camp of prisoners of war Topic. Noteworthy lexical items Topic. Points of the compass Hungarian words for the points of the compass are directly derived from the position of the sun during the day in the northern hemisphere. North equals eshik from edge shaka night, as the sun never shines from the north South equals dale noon, as the sun shines from the south at noon East equals kelet rise, as the sun rises in the east West equals nougat set, as the sun sets in the west Topic. Two words for red There are two basic words for red in Hungarian, piros and voros, variant veers, compare with Estonian, verev, or Finnish, punainen. They are basic in the sense that one is not a subtype of the other, as the English scarlet is of red. The word voros is related to ver, meaning blood, Finnish and Estonian very. When they refer to an actual difference in color as on a color chart, voros usually refers to the deeper, darker and or more red and less orange hue of red. In English similar differences exist between scarlet and red. While many languages have multiple names for this color, often Hungarian scholars assume this is unique in recognizing two shades of red as separate and distinct folk colors. However, the two words are also used independently of the above in collocations. Piros is learned by children first, as it is generally used to describe inanimate, artificial things, or things seen as cheerful or neutral, while voros typically refers to animate or natural things biological, geological, physical and astronomical objects, as well as serious or emotionally charged subjects. When the rules outlined above are in contradiction, typical collocations usually prevail. In some cases where a typical collocation does not exist, the use of either of the two words may be equally adequate. Examples Expressions where red typically translates to piros 
a red road sign, red traffic lights, the red line of Budapest Metro, red now called Express bus lines in Budapest, a holiday shown in red in the calendar, ruddy complexion, the red nose of a clown, some red flowers those of a neutral nature, e.g. tulips, red peppers and paprika, red card suits hearts and diamonds, red stripes on a flag but the red flag and its variants translate to voros, etc. Expressions where red typically translates to Voros, Red Sea, Red Square, Red Army, Red Baron, Eric the Red, Red Wine, Red Carpet for receiving important guests, Red Hair or Beard, Red Lion, the mythical animal, the Red Cross, the novel The Red and the Black, Redshift, Red Giant, Red Blood Cells, Red Oak, some red flowers, those with passionate connotations, e.g. Roses, red fox, names of ferric and other red minerals, red copper, rust, red phosphorus, the color of blushing with anger or shame, the red nose of an alcoholic in contrast with that of a clown, see above, the red posterior of a baboon, red meat, regular onion not the red onion, which is lila. Litmus paper in acid, cities, countries, or other political entities associated with leftist movements e.g. Red Vienna, Red Russia, etc. Topic. Kinship terms The Hungarian words for brothers and sisters are differentiated based upon relative age. There is also a general word for sibling, testver, from test, body, and ver, blood, i.e., originating from the same body and blood. There used to be a separate word for elder sister, nen, but it has become obsolete except to mean aunt. In some dialects, and has been replaced by the generic word for sister. In addition, there are separate prefixes for several ancestors and descendants. The words for boy and girl are applied with possessive suffixes. Nevertheless, the terms are differentiated with different declension or lexemes. FIA is only used in this, a regular possessive form, it has no nominative on its own. See inalienable possession. However, the word few can also take the regular suffix, in which case the resulting word fuha will refer to a lover or partner boyfriend, rather than a male offspring. The word few boy is also often noted as an extreme example of the ability of the language to add suffixes to a word, by forming fii, adding vowel form suffixes only, where the result is quite a frequently used word. Topic. Extremely long words. Megashetseg telenai the tetlanzishskidesetekar partition to root and suffixes with explanations, translation, for your plural repeated pretending to be indesecrable. The above word is often considered to be the longest word in Hungarian, although there are longer words like Legisleg megashetseg telen ite the tetlan ebje tekentlages leg meg sent seg telen it tet het etlan ebje i tek kent. Like those of you that are the very least possible to get desecrated. Words of such length are not used in practice, but when spoken they are easily understood by natives. They were invented to show, in a somewhat facetious way, the ability of the language to form long words see agglutinative language. They are not compound words. They are formed by adding a series of one and two syllable suffixes and a few prefixes to a simple root. Sent. Saint or holy. There is virtually no limit for the length of words, but when too many suffixes are added, the meaning of the word becomes less clear, and the word becomes hard to understand, and will work like a riddle even for native speakers. Topic. Hungarian words in English The English word best known as being of Hungarian origin is probably paprika, from Serbo-Croatian papar, pepper, and the Hungarian diminutive ka. The most common however is koch, from kachish, originally kachish shikar, car from, in the style of koch. Others are shako, from sako, from sakasuvej, peaked cap. Saber, from shablia. Haiduk, from haiduk, plural of haidu, brigand. Tolpach, from talpas, foot soldier, apparently derived from talp, soul. Topic. Writing system The Hungarian language was originally written in right-to-left Old Hungarian runes, superficially similar in appearance to the better-known Futhark runes but unrelated. 
When Stephen I of Hungary established the Kingdom of Hungary in the year 1000, the old system was gradually discarded in favor of the Latin alphabet and left to right order. Although now not used at all in everyday life, the old script is still known and practiced by some enthusiasts. Modern Hungarian is written using an expanded Latin alphabet, and has a phonemic orthography, i.e. pronunciation can generally be predicted from the written language. In addition to the standard letters of the Latin alphabet, Hungarian uses several modified Latin characters to represent the additional vowel sounds of the language. These include letters with acute accents a, a, I, o, u, to represent long vowels, and umlauts o and, u, and their long counterparts o and u to represent front vowels. Sometimes, usually as a result of a technical glitch on a computer, o circumflex or o tilde is used for, and u circumflex for. This is often due to the limitations of the Latin 1, ISO 88591 code page. These letters are not part of the Hungarian language, and are considered misprints. Hungarian can be properly represented with the Latin 2, ISO 88592 code page, but this code page is not always available. Hungarian is the only language using both an, Unicode includes them, and so they can be used on the Internet. Additionally, the letter pairs NY, TI, and GY represent the palatal consonants, C, and, a little like the, D plus Y, sounds in British, Duke, or American, would you, a bit like saying, D, with the tongue pointing to the palate. Hungarian uses S for, and SZ for, S, which is the reverse of Polish usage. The letter ZS is, and CS is, T. These digraphs are considered single letters in the alphabet. The letter Li is also a single letter digraph, but is pronounced like J, English Y, and appears mostly in old words. The letters DZ and DZS, D, are exotic remnants and are hard to find even in longer texts. Some examples still in common use are Madzag, string, Edzeni, to train athletically, and Dasungal, jungle. Sometimes additional information is required for partitioning words with digraphs, haszam, street number, equals has, house, plus zam, number, not an unintelligible has plus zam. Hungarian distinguishes between long and short vowels, with long vowels written with acutes. It also distinguishes between long and short consonants, with long consonants being doubled. For example, leni, to be, hazazulas, comment. The digraphs, when doubled, become trigraphs, sz plus sz equals ssz, e.g. muvazel, with an artist. But when the digraph occurs at the end of a line, all of the letters are written out. For example, with a bus, bush, shawl. When the first lexeme of a compound ends in a digraph and the second lexeme starts with the same digraph, both digraphs are written out, jegi plus guru equals jegaguru. Engagement, wedding ring. Jegi means sign, mark. The term jegben leni, jarni means to be engaged. Guru means ring. Usually a trigraph is a double digraph, but there are a few exceptions. Tizanialk, 18, is a concatenation of tizan plus nyolc. There are doubling minimal pairs, tall, push, versus toll, feather, or pen. While to English speakers they may seem unusual at first, once the new orthography and pronunciation are learned, written Hungarian is almost completely phonemic except for etymological spellings and li, j, representing, j. Topic. Word order The word order is basically from general to specific. This is a typical analytical approach and is used generally in Hungarian. Topic. Name order The Hungarian language uses the so-called Eastern name order, in which the surname general, deriving from the family comes first and the given name comes last. If a second given name is used, this follows the first given name. Topic. Hungarian names in foreign languages For clarity, in foreign languages Hungarian names are usually represented in the Western name order. Sometimes, however, especially in the neighboring countries of Hungary, where there is a significant Hungarian population, the Hungarian name order is retained, as it causes less confusion there. 
For an example of foreign use, the birth name of the Hungarian-born physicist, the father of the hydrogen bomb, was Teller Ede, but he immigrated to the United States in the 1930s and thus became known as Edward Teller. Prior to the mid-20th century, given names were usually translated along with the name order, this is no longer as common. For example, the pianist uses Andras Schiff when abroad, not Andrew Schiff in Hungarian Schiff Andras. If a second given name is present, it becomes a middle name and is usually written out in full, rather than truncated to an initial. <laughs> <laughs> Foreign names in Hungarian In modern usage, foreign names retain their order when used in Hungarian. Therefore, Amaker Kis Janos Los Angeles Ben Volt, Lata John Travolta T, means, when Kis Janos was in Los Angeles he saw John Travolta. The Hungarian name Kis Janos is in the Hungarian name order Janos is equivalent to John, but the foreign name John Travolta remains in the Western name order. Before the 20th century, not only was it common to reverse the order of foreign personalities, they were also Hungarianized. Goethe Janos Farkas, originally Johann Wolfgang Goethe. This usage sounds odd today, when only a few well-known personalities are referred to using their Hungarianized names, including Vern Gaiula, Jules Verne, Marx Caroli, Karl Marx, Columbus Christoph, Christopher Columbus. Note that it is also translated in English. Some native speakers disapprove of this usage. The names of certain historical religious personalities, including popes, however, are always Hungarianized by practically all speakers, such as Luther Martin, Martin Luther, Husz Janos, Jan Hus, Calvin Janos, John Calvin. Just like the names of monarchs, for example, the King of Spain, Juan Carlos I, is referred to as I Janos Caroli, or the Queen of the UK, Elizabeth II, is referred to as II. Erzabet. Japanese names, which are usually written in Western order in the rest of Europe, retain their original order in Hungarian, e.g. Kurosawa Akira instead of Akira Kurosawa. Topic. Date and time The Hungarian convention for date and time is to go from the generic to the specific, 1. Year, 2. Month, 3. Day, 4. Hour, 5. Minute, 6. Second. The year and day are always written in Arabic numerals, followed by a full stop. The month can be written by its full name or can be abbreviated, or even denoted by Roman or Arabic numerals. Except for the first case month written by its full name, the month is followed by a full stop. Usually, when the month is written in letters, there is no leading zero before the day. On the other hand, when the month is written in Arabic numerals, a leading zero is common, but not obligatory. Except at the beginning of a sentence, the name of the month always begins with a lower case letter. Hours, minutes, and seconds are separated by a colon H, M, S. Fractions of a second are separated by a full stop from the rest of the time. Hungary generally uses the 24-hour clock format, but in verbal and written communication 12-hour clock format can also be used. See below for usage examples. Date and time may be separated by a comma or simply written one after the other. 2008, February 9. 16 hours 23 minutes and 42 seconds or 2008, February 9. 16 hours 23 minutes and 42 seconds. 2008. FEBR. 9. 2008. 02. 09. Or 2008. 2. 9. Rarely. 2008. 2. 9. Date separated by hyphen is also spreading, especially on date stamps. Here, just like the version separated by full stops, leading zeros are in use. The 9th of February 2008 when only hours and minutes are written in a sentence so not only displaying time, these parts can be separated by a full stop e.g. Talilkazung 10.35 core. Let's meet at 10.35. Or it is also regular to write hours in normal size, and minutes put in superscript and not necessarily underlined e.g. Italokozo 1035 Kor Kesdedek or Italokozo 1035 Kor Kesdedek. The meeting begins at 10.35. Also, in verbal and written communication it is common to use Daililot, literally, before noon, and Dailutan, lit. Afternoon, abbreviated as de and du, respectively. 
Dalilot and Dalutan is said or written before the time, e.g., Dalutan 4 Ora Van. It's 4 p.m. However, e.g., Dalilot 5 Ora should mean 5 a.m. or Dalutan 10 Ora should mean 10 p.m. are never used, because at these times the sun is not up, instead, Hajnal, Dawn, Regil, Morning, Este, Evening, and Ejel, night, is used, however there are no exact rules for the use of these, as everybody uses them according to their habits e.g. somebody may have woken up at 5 a.m. so he, she says, Regil 6 cor etum. I had food at asterisk morning 6. And somebody woke up at 11 a.m. so he, she says, Hinali 6 cor mega lutam. I was still sleeping at asterisk dawn 6. Roughly, these expressions mean these times, Asterisk, Dale, and Ejfail mean these exact times, so using time after them is incorrect. So there is no Ejfail zero core meg bullet stink. We were still partying at asterisk midnight zero or Dale twelve core suit a nap. The sun shines at asterisk noon twelve. Instead, Ejfail core meg bullet stink and Dale bin suit a nap. Is correct. More confusingly, one can say, Dali 12 core suit a nap, meaning, the sun shines at 12 of noon, i.e., the sun shines at 12, which is the 12 of daytime. Dalin suit a nap, on the other hand, means, the sun shines in the south, as Dale means both noon and south. Topic. Addresses Although address formatting is increasingly being influenced by standard European conventions, the traditional Hungarian style is Budapest, Dijk Ferenc ter 1. 1052 So the order is, 1 settlement most general, 2 street, square, etc. more specific, 3 house number most specific, 4 who postcode. The house number may be followed by the story and door numbers. The WHO part before the postcode is only for incoming postal traffic from foreign countries. Addresses on envelopes and postal parcels should be formatted and placed on the right side as follows. Name of the recipient Settlement Street address up to door number if necessary WHO postcode Topic. Vocabulary examples Note, the stress is always placed on the first syllable of each word. The remaining syllables all receive an equal, lesser stress. All syllables are pronounced clearly and evenly, even at the end of a sentence, unlike in English. Topic. Numbers Source, Wiktionary Topic. Time Source, Wiktionary Source, Wiktionary Topic. Conversation Hungarian, Person, Language, Magyar Mr. Hello Formal, when addressing a stranger. Good day. Joe Napot Kavanik, Joe Enpotki, V.A. Nock. Informal, when addressing a close acquaintance, Zia, C. Goodbye, Visantlatazra, Visantla ta r formal, see above, Visalat, Vislati, semi-informal, Zia, informal, same stylistic remark as for Hello. Excuse me, Elne, Lan Z Please Karem Shapen K Erm Se Pien. This literally means I'm asking it you nicely. As in German bit Sean. See next for a more common form of the polite request. Legion Zives. Lane Siv literally be so kind. I would like underscore 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 please Zaretna underscore 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 certainly K. This example illustrates the use of the conditional tense as a common form of a polite request. It literally means I would like. Sorry, Boxanit, Bada, thank you, Kazanam, Kasanam, that this as Z E Z Z. How much, Menyi? M I. How much does it cost, Menyi? Curl. 
M ib krill yes i g e n in no nem nem i do not understand nem erdem nem e redem i do not know nem tudem nem tudem where's the toilet hole van a vese hole vien vese 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 is the hungarian pronunciation of the english abbreviation of water closet hole van a mazdo Hol vn, modo, more polite and word for word, version generic toast, eje segunker, ee -e iker, literally, to our health, juice, gayumolksle, yamaltal, water, viz, vz, wine, bor, bor, beer, sor, or, t, t, milk, tej, tj, do you speak English, bessel, sz, angalul? Bese l, bese l s olul. Note that the fact of asking is only shown by the proper intonation, continually rising until the penultimate syllable, then falling for the last one. I love you, Zaretlik, Sertlik, help, Sagiseg. It. It is needed, Kel I need to go, Menem Kel topic See also Hungarian grammar Hungarian verbs Hungarian noun phrase Hungarian phonology History of the Hungarian language Hungarian dialects Hungarian cultural institute List of English words of Hungarian origin The Babel speech corpus Magyar Shaar Dictionary of the Hungarian language topic Bibliography topic Courses Magyaric, text book and exercise book for beginners Zita, Sylvia, Pelch, Catalan 2013. Pex, Pechi Tutamanyegitam. Magyaric website ISBN 978-963-7178-68-9. Colloquial Hungarian, The Complete Course for Beginners. Rounds, Carol H., Solayam, Erika 2002. London, New York, Routledge. ISBN 0-415-24258-4. This book gives an introduction to the Hungarian language in 15 chapters. The dialogues are available on CDs, Teach Yourself Hungarian, a complete course for beginners. Pontifex, ZSUZSA, 1993. London, Hodder & Stoughton. Chicago, NTC, Contemporary Publishing. ISBN 0-340-56286-2. This is a complete course in spoken and written Hungarian. The course consists of 21 chapters with dialogues, culture notes, grammar and exercises. The dialogues are available on cassette, Hungarolingua 1 Magyar Nyabkoniv. Hoffman, Istvan, et al., 1996. De Nyari Egedem. ISBN 963-472-083-8 Hungarolingua 2 Magyar Nyabkoniv. Halavixa, Edit, et al., 2001. Debreseni Nyari Egedem. ISBN 963-03-6698-3 Hungarolingua 3 Magyar Nyavkoniv. Halavixa, Edit, et al., 1999. Debreseni Nyari Egedem. ISBN 963-472-083-8 These course books were developed by the University of Debrecen Summer School Program for Teaching Hungarian to Foreigners. The books are written completely in Hungarian and therefore unsuitable for self-study. There is an accompanying dictionary with translations of the Hungarian vocabulary into English, German, and French for the words used in the first two books, NTC's Hungarian and English Dictionary by McGay and Kiss. ISBN 0-8442-4968-8 You may be able to find a newer edition also. This one is 1996. Topic Grammars Gyakorlo Magyar Nyavtan, A Practical Hungarian Grammar 2009, 2010. Zita Silvia, Gorb Thomas. Budapest, Akademiai Kiado. 978-963-05-8703-7. A Practical Hungarian Grammar 3rd, Rev. Ed. Karastis, Laszlo 1999. Debrecen, Debreceni Nyari Egedem. ISBN 963-472-300-4. Simplified Grammar of the Hungarian Language 1882. Ignatius Singer. London, Trubner & Co. Practical Hungarian Grammar, a compact guide to the basics of Hungarian grammar. Torkinci, Miklos 2002. Budapest, Corvina. ISBN 963-13-5131-9. Hungarian Verbs and Essentials of Grammar, A Practical Guide to the Mastery of Hungarian 2nd ed. Torkinci, Miklos 1999. Budapest, Corvina, Lincolnwood, Il, Passport Books. ISBN 963-13-4778-8. Hungarian, An Essential Grammar 2nd ed. Rounds, Carroll 2009. London, New York, Routledge. ISBN 0-415-77737-2. Hungarian, Descriptive Grammar. Knesse, Istvan, Robert M. Vago, and Anna Fenevesi 1998. 
London, New York, Routledge. ISBN 0 415 02139 1. Hungarian language learning references, including the short reviews of three of the above books, noun declension tables, Hungarian. Budapest, Pons. Klet. ISBN 978 963 9641 04 4. Verb conjugation tables, Hungarian. Budapest, Pons. Klet. ISBN 978-963-9641-03-7 Others Abondolo, Daniel Mario, Hungarian Inflectional Morphology. Academiae Publishing. Budapest, 1988. ISBN 9630546302 Balaj, Geza, The Story of Hungarian. A Guide to the Language. Translated by Thomas J. de Kornfeld. Corvina Publishing. Budapest, 1997. ISBN 9631343626 Stefanides, Eva H. Ed., Contrasting English with Hungarian. Academiae Publishing. Budapest, 1986. ISBN 9630539500 Notes topic References topic External links Free downloadable Hungarian teaching and learning material Introduction to Hungarian Hungarian profile List of formative suffixes in Hungarian The relationship between the Finnish and the Hungarian languages Hungarian language review at How to Learn Any Language. Com. The Hungarian Language, a Short Descriptive Grammar. By Beata Megisi PDF document. The old site of the Indiana University Institute of Hungarian Studies Various resources Hungarian language learning references on the Hungarian language page Short reviews of useful books One of the oldest Hungarian texts, a halo t besede The funeral oration Wikiling, Hungarian page Hungarian grammar, lessons, in English Hungarian Swadesh list of basic vocabulary words from Wiktionary's Swadesh list appendix. Basic Hungarian language course, book plus audio files, USA Foreign Service Institute (FSI). Old Hungarian corpus. Topic. Encyclopedia Humana Hungarica. Introduction to the History of the Language, the Pre-Hungarian Period, the Early Hungarian Period, the Old Hungarian Period The Linguistic Records of the Early Old Hungarian Period, the Linguistic System of the Age The Old Hungarian Period, the System of the Language of the Old Hungarian Period The Late Old Hungarian Period, the System of the Language The First Half of the Middle Hungarian Period, Turkish Loan Words Topic. Dictionaries Hungarian left right arrow English created by the Hungarian Academy of Sciences, Computer and Automation Research Institute MTASZTAKI also includes dictionaries for the following languages to and from Hungarian, German, French, Italian, Dutch, and Polish. Bab. La. Online Hungarian English Dictionary and Language Learning Portal. English Hungarian Finnish, three language freely editable online dictionary, Collection of Hungarian technical dictionaries, Hungarian bilingual dictionaries, Hungarian English dictionary, English Hungarian dictionary, Hungarian verb conjugation.